What's up guys, welcome to Lens and Unboxing. So today we're gonna to talk about weight cutting. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like if you like the content on this channel. You can check out my other videos. So let's get into it. So basically, weight cutting is a very important aspect when it comes to boxing or combat sports in general, just because every fighter has to fit their weight category. So in the amateur, in amateur boxing, there's about 10 weight categories, and in, the pro, in pro boxing, there's about 20 weight categories. So I used to compete at 132 pounds, which is 60 kilos. I have a few fights at 64 kilos, which is 141 pounds, and I have two fights at 152 pounds, which is 69 kilos. If you don't know me, my name is Lance Lundy. I have 77 fights under my belt, so I've cut weight at least 77 times in my career, right? So uh, just to give you guys an idea, I used to walk around at about 143 to 147 pounds, and I would fight at 132 pounds. So let's say if I would cut from 147 down to 132, I'd be cutting down 15 pounds. Now you may be asking yourself, how did I go from 147 down to 132? The truth is weight cutting is very, very simple. All you have to do is consume less calories than you burn. That's all you gotta do. So if you think about it, if you're able to be in a deficit of 500 calories a day, after six days, you're down one pound because 3000 calories equals to one pound. So if I'm at a loss of 500 calories a day times six days, that means I'm losing 3000 calories, which is one pound. So basically, whenever I would have a competition, I would always know eight weeks in advance. So that would give me enough time to cut my weight. I would always make my weight cuts last two months, so eight weeks. The first four weeks, I would cut from 147 down to 140. So that's seven pounds. That's very easy work. All I had to do here is train twice a day and do one run at night. That's all I had to do. So a two hour training in the morning, a two hour training in the evening, and a run at night. And I would cut seven pounds. Very, very easy work for me. I'm always at a caloric loss. That way I'm able to trim the weight down, right? So after the first four weeks, I'm down seven pounds. So it's almost two pounds a week that I'm losing. So I'm losing basically 6,000 calories a week. So let's say uh, in a day I would consume around 4,000 calories and I would intake anywhere between 25 to 3, 2,500 to 3,000 calories. So I'm always at a loss of, of about 1,000 calories a day. So after three days, I'm losing basically one pound, right? So after six days, I'm losing two pounds. So like I said, so I'm losing give or take two pounds a week for the first four weeks, right? So let's say I'm down to 140 and there's four weeks left for the competition. What I do here is, here's I'll continue to train as I do, one training in the morning, one training in the evening and a run at night. I would continue that training and I would always hover around 134 pounds to 140 pounds, depending on if I'm eating a lot or not. I always like to be as close to my weigh in weight as possible just because in the amateurs you fight multiple times in a week let's say if i have a competition i could fight on friday saturday and sunday which means i have to weigh in at 60 kilos on friday morning saturday morning and sunday morning in the amateurs you weigh in in the morning and you fight in the evening so that only gives me about 12 hours to to rehydrate so i always want to be close to the 132 pound mark so like i said I'm hovering anywhere between 134 to 140. I usually walk around 138 pounds three weeks before the competition. That way I only have six pounds of water to lose. Cool. So now that we've trimmed as much fat as possible, now I'm walking around at about 138 pounds three weeks before the competition. That, gives, that leaves me at around 5% body fat and I can't go lower than that. So in order to get down to that 132 mark, uh, the day, let's say the week of the competition, is I'll do water loading. So when I water load, basically I'm drinking a lot, a lot of water, basically one week before the competition. I'm drinking anywhere between four to six liters of water. That way my body doesn't really feel hungry. So I'll drink, I'll drink a bottle of water. I try to drink a, around a liter of water before every meal. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That way I feel very full before I eat my, my meal. So I'll do that. So as I get closer to the competition date, I'll reduce the water intake slowly, slowly. My body's gonna be full of water, so it's gonna wanna extract as much water as possible. You're gonna see, if you do water loading, you're gonna be peeing in the middle of the night, you're gonna be peeing all day long. You're gonna be peeing very, very clear, it's gonna be very transparent, your, your, your pee is not gonna be uh, yellow at all. As I get closer to the competition, let's say one day before my fight, let's say I fight on Friday, and let's say we're Thursday night. So what I'll do is on Thursday night, I'm gonna weigh in, 
And like I said, I'm diminishing the water intake day by day. So let's say we start on Sunday. Day number one is Sunday. I start off at six liters. Day number two, which is Monday, I go down to five. Then on Tuesday, four. Wednesday, three. Mm -hmm. And then Thursday, I try not to drink uh, uh, as much water because I'm fighting on Friday, right? But throughout that time, I've drank in so much water that my body's just extracting all the water, right? So my pee is always clear. So like I said, let's fast forward down to Thursday. Now we're Thursday and I'm fighting on Friday, right? So I'm weighing in on Friday morning. What I do is on Thursday night, I'll head to the gym, I'll put on a sauna suit. But underneath a sauna suit, I'm gonna put on some albaline cream. That way it blocks my pores and it helps me sweat some more, okay? The sauna suit also helps you sweat a lot because it, it kind of blocks off your pores and it, and, it, and it forces you to sweat some more, you know? So I'll put on the albaline cream, like I said, I'll put on the sauna suit. If you don't have a sauna suit, you could get yourself, uh, you could get yourself um, a garbage bag. That works pretty well, but a sauna suit is always better. So I put on the top of the sauna suit, the bottom of the sauna suit, and then I'll put, my, I'll put a hoodie on top of that. I'll put on a track suit, actually, a hoodie and a pair of joggers. And then I'll just skip rope for an hour. That's all I'll do, skip rope for an hour. Every 10 minutes, I'll take a, I'll take a towel and I'll just dry myself off. Uh, that way the towel is able to absorb the sweat and I'm able to cut my weight uh, uh, more adequately. So I'll do that for about an hour. And let's say I'm weighing in around 138 pounds, like I said. So from 138 pounds, I'll drop around four pounds. So now I'm down at 134. And what I'll do, I'll just go, I'll just go back home and I'll go to sleep. I won't drink any water, I won't drink anything. When I wake up the next morning, I'm probably 133 pounds and it's time for the weigh-in, right? So what I'll do is, you know, I'll wake up, I'll go to sleep at 134, I'll wake up at 133, and then if I have a pound left to, to lose, I'll, I'll do a hot bath, okay? So a hot bath, basically what it is, is you just run some hot water and you take some Epsom salt. You'll take that Epsom salt, you put it in the bathtub. So I'll use 500 grams of Epsom salt to just put it uh, in the bath. I'll wait for the bathtub to get full of hot water. Then I'll get in slowly, okay? When I get into the tub, I feel like a, a lobster, right? <laughs> I want to submerge my whole body. So I make sure that my chest is underwater and my arms are underwater. I stay there for about 10 minutes. I put a 10 minute timer. When the time is up, I get out of the, the bath. I'm, I'm, and I'm sweating, I'm sweating, I'm sweating, right? And I'll put, on, I'll put on a few towels. The towels are there to keep me warm and at the same time, they absorb the, the sweat, right? So I'll do that about a couple of times and I should uh, usually lose the, the one pound left. Now, one thing to, to mention is that the closer you get to your weight, the harder it is for my body to extract water, right? Because I'm already dehydrated. So uh, I usually do that. Let's say if I wake up one morning and I don't want to do a hot bath, I really don't want to do it. What I'll do is put on the track suit, put on the sauna suit and skip some more. Skip some more, I'll probably lose that pound. And let's say if I really, really don't want to do that, there's another hack you could use, and it's chewing gum, okay? You chew gum, you buy yourself a pack of gum. Uh, I usually like to use sour gum. Don't use any mint gum because I, I feel like they don't work as well. I like to use like a, like a green apple or something like that, or, or uh, an orange, uh, orange flavor gum. So I'll, I'll grab that, start chewing, chewing, chewing. Now what that does is that it activates your salivary glands, right? And from then on, you get to start spitting. So you just spit, 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 spit. You get yourself a little 500 ml bottle of water and you just spit, 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 spit. Chew your gum, spit. The moment you lose flavor, you throw the gum out, get the next gum. Spit, 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 spit. Within an hour, you could lose a pound, okay? So those are, the, those are the, the ways that I cut the water weight. So like I said, eight weeks before the fight, I trim the fat, right? So I go down from 147 down to about 140 to 138. And then from then on, I'll just lose uh, water weight. If I'm, one, if I'm at 140, I'm losing eight pounds of water. If I'm at 138, I'm losing six pounds of water. I usually like to walk around at 138 pounds three weeks before my competition because I feel at 138 pounds, I'm strong. I'm fast and it's easy to lose weight. For me, six pounds of water is perfect given the fact that I'm fighting on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And like I said, I'm weighing, on I'm weighing in on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday morning. So this method of weight cutting is mostly for boxers and amateur boxers in general. If you're an MMA fighter or a grappler, I know it's different. I know you guys could cut 35 pounds in like 24 hours, but not, I'm not about that life, right? <laughs> and like it for, for MMA and for Grappling competitions, if, if I'm not mistaken, you only weigh in once, so you don't need to weigh in multiple times. So it's, a, it's another game, right? So if you guys like this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.